Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194, and I appreciate you stopping by to my channel to check out my video. And we're here at Zolder. I haven't been here in a long time, and I'm here with the Nissan GTR. I had somebody uh, ask for a setup for this. Um, so, and I haven't been here in a long time, so it's pretty cool to be here. So let's get this thing started. Going double file. I love this track. It's a really fun track. It's one of those ones you just sit there and have to wrestle with and this and that and have to really drive the car. I just haven't been that good at it here though. I don't you know, I just I've struggled here really bad in the past. Matter of fact, the last time I think I raced with the Porsche, I just used the aggressive setup. I just I couldn't get it to do anything. But I got a setup on this one and it's working good. I'm on the pole. The AI is at 97, and the aggression is at 92, so definitely no give me. Especially for me, because I just, like I said, this, usually I don't do that good here. thing here is sometimes it's not that exciting of a race and that's sometimes that's why a lot of times I don't show this or right you know upload it because it's just a lot of times you, it's really hard to pass here really hard I like the, the power delivery on the Nissan. Break a little earlier there, it's too late. This has no flat spot. I think it, and you need that at a track like this for sure. The one thing with the Nissan though, or other cars, you know, you gotta use first. I don't use first. I don't think in any, except for that. I don't, I don't use first in anything here. So a lot of times I use first in other cars because gearing is so low in this, which is good. It still works fine. It's almost perfect really for a track like this. that one had a good lap going too
track feels a little different than it did in qualifying. It's always that way. That's what makes ACC so tough and challenging. Is it, you know, the track, even if it's, you know, the same fast or optimized or whatever, it still changes. It's still, one, you know, it's a little slick here or doesn't have the grip there, or, you know, depending upon what part of the day it is. So it's, that's what I think makes ACC so challenging. that too much. I, I didn't know if you all knew. I see that they're coming out with the GT4 cars. So that'll be coming out in the DLC. Again, ACC just keeps getting better and better. So that's just more content and more stuff to have fun with. More races. I qualified at a 130.29. That's what my qualifying time was. It's really good for me. Anybody is uh, wanting to know, I'm going to try to start a little bit at a time. Just try it and see if it'll, you know, how, what kind of stuff happens. But I'm going to try to start doing some online racing. On just the, the only ones I'm going to do is the, the, uh, the competition server. Oh man, that's way too deep. Warning for exceeding check limits. I'll float up. Yeah, like I said, it just don't seem like it's got the grip level that it didn't qualify. But yeah, I'm gonna try to start doing some online racing. And if you know something good, you know, something good, I'll go ahead and upload it up. If it's a good race. Oh, 
All right, see if I can just be consistent. I figure this is a good test, you know, for the setup, and I, that's what I try to do. I mean, I try to have a good test, you know, you know, to make sure that it is what I think it is. So. I mean, not, it's not for the ultimate lap time. I mean, I'm trying to go over a stint and trying to make, see how it, I'd give up a few tenths or, you know, a half a second maybe even to be consistent through the whole run instead of being like fast for a couple laps and then it falls off a cliff. I'm no alien, that's for sure. <laughs> you mean, know, I would really like to see somebody like an alien try one of my setups just to see if it, you know, worked for somebody that can really drive good, but, I mean... But, you know, I, I never claim to be a, a hot shoe or anything. I mean, I, I, you know, I think I'm average. I mean, I don't think I'm below average. I think I'm okay. But I know there's a lot of faster people out there. I mean, I know that. I give them credit because to be super fast and consistent, especially guys that are on YouTube, um, you know, that are talking and doing stuff and everything else. I mean, it takes it takes a lot of concentration, a lot of knowing what's going on and reactions and being consistent every lap. So it's I give them credit. It definitely it's not the easiest thing to do, and I mean, it's definitely a talent. I wish I was. <laughs> but I'm just happy that I have a good time. I really have fun with this. I really have fun having feedback with everybody and talking with everybody and just, you know, just the conversations back and forth. I really enjoy it. And, you know, ACC is just so awesome. So I got 900 hours, over 900 hours playing. <laughs> and it keeps going. But you know, I'm going to I'm going to toot my own horn for one time this time. I'm just as far as I've been on board since the beginning. So there've been a lot of other guys that, that criticized it and this and that ACC I'm talking about you know and it was this and it was that and I'm not going to disagree with that in the beginning there were some things that was you know some things that were wrong but I knew that they were going to it was going to get right and I knew that things were going to be killer it's just one of those things that you know being patient and waiting for everything to happen and I was on board like I said from the very beginning I knew um that they were gonna keep doing stuff and keep improving and keep coming out with stuff and it just keeps going. So, bravo, applaud to Kunos and everybody there that does such a great job. I know there's a lot of sim racers out there that appreciate all their hard work. I mean, I'm one of them.
but I'm, you know, back to the racing. I mean, when I'm in a race like this or any other race, really, I'm not really trying to go to the max. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to go maybe 90%, but. I mean, my goal is to keep the tires you know, good shape and just be consistent. I'm trying to really work on consistency. That's what I want. I want to try to be consistent as I can. That's, to me, that's what wins races. I mean, you can have a guy that puts in a lap or two that's just crazy good and then, then the rest of it's garbage. And that's where the, you know, when I saw about the aliens, that's where I'm really give them credit because the ones I've seen, I mean, they're running the same laps and they're fast all the time. I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, I mean, I mean, they are consistent. I mean, very consistent. No way they're doing that with just an aggressive setup, I guarantee it. <laughs> there ain't no way. Yeah, maybe their aggressive setup, but not the aggressive setup. You got these guys that are aliens, they're guaranteed they're they got a setup that works real well. This race has gone by quick. Good grief. As they say, when things go by quick, you must be having fun, so I'm definitely having fun. Car is handling great. I mean, this is the best I've ever had any car handle here. So, I, you know, I need to bring some other cars here and see what I can do. It's a, you're never ending. I mean, there's so much stuff that I... There's still... So much stuff that I can do with ACC, it's just freaking crazy. Uh, too hot. That was way too hot. That force is gaining on me. And this track will bite you for sure if you overdrive it. As I just tried to do. If you just, you know, you break early enough. I mean, just say you just you break early and try to concentrate from mid corner and drive out. You're going to do good. But if you try to go in deep, it's going to get you. Especially this turn, for some reason. I don't know if it's just real slick or because it's down the hill or what's going on, but especially that turn. Could I have been pushing it harder? I'm sure I could have, but you know, I'm. I 
just trying to be consistent. Alright, you've just started the final lap of the race as leader. Bring it home. Car is absolutely handling great. I haven't had to adjust the, the brakes, nothing. It's, it feels the same as it did. Tires are all green. a little bit more this last lap but I'm seeing I'm right on my fast lap time so yeah matter of fact it'll be my fast lap on my last lap all right yes all right Led from start to finish. Um, no, it wasn't super exciting, but it was for me. And I just, I haven't been here in a long time. This is the best I've ever done here as older. I've, I've, you could look in my past videos. I've struggled so hard here. You just, like I said, the last time I raced here a while ago, I just used the aggressive setup because I couldn't even do anything. So, I mean, if I got a top 10, I thought I'd be do, doing great. And here I got a 97 and I won the race. I, I never would have believed that in a, million years so setups are working good and I'm always trying to improve them so I mean you know I, I never stop resting to improve the setup here's the my livery there change the color just a little bit I think it looks good got my orange on there That was awesome. Now, there's the uh, laps. I just had the one that was out. And that last lap was a 130.60. Yeah, that's about even. It's only a, what, a few hundreds. So that's, that's not too big a deal. But yeah, 130.60 on the last lap. So, you know, 131 is everywhere else. But I was just, like I said, just trying to push as hard as I had to. Let's go through the setup. And it's 25.6 on the left front tire, left rear is 25.6, right front is 26.3, and the right rear is 26.5. So they're wearing perfectly even. Um, the toe is maxed out at a negative 0.2 on the front. The camber is negative 3.5 with a caster of 17.6 on the front. The rear toe is 0.1 and the camber is negative 2.6 on the rear. Electronics, I had it at 2 and 4. And fuel, I had 52 liters with 2 and 2. Just a little extra fuel. Mechanical, I had 7 on the any roll bar in the front. Brake bias was 62.8 with the steering ratio max out as quick as it go. Uh, the wheel rate in the front was 156,000 with a bump stop rate of 1,100 and a bump stop range of 4. On the front, the, now the rear, the wheel rate is 11,000, uh, 116,000 on the wheel rate in the rear, and the bump stop rate is 600, and the bump stop range is 13. The anti roll bar is 4, and the diff is 60 on the back. Dampeners on the front, it's 12, 13, 18, and 20 for a bump, fast bump, rebound, and fast rebound. And on the rear, it's 12, 10, 18, and 20 for bump, fast bump, rebound, and fast rebound. Arrow, I have on the front, is 56. Right height, and on the rear, it's 66 with a four rear wing. And on the brake ducts, I'm going to 
I'm just increasing them a little bit, and I'll probably be doing this more on all of them, this three and two, just to try to keep my brakes more consistent and see if that'll help. Um, so that's three and two on the brake ducts. Just one up one on each one. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I hope you try this setup, and, and uh, see, I hope it works great for you. And please hit the like and subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified for any other videos. And uh, of course, all my videos come out Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And I hope everybody has a, a great day and the rest of the week. Take care. See ya.